Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. In today's video, we're going to talk about a thrust differential mix. Obviously, you'd have a plane with two engines, and when you move your rudder, you want one engine to speed up and the other engine to slow down, going one direction, and then vice versa, going the other direction. It gives you more yaw capability than just the rudder alone when you engage thrust differential. So the mix itself is actually very simple, but there are things that we want to add. So first of all, we'd have our regular throttle cut, which I will use on this switch over here. And then we want something to activate thrust differential. So if we just want to fly normally without thrust differential, we flip the switch in a direction and now the rudder works as normal. And then when we flip the switch down, the thrust differential works. The other thing we need to concern ourselves with is throttle cut. So I'll show you both the easy way to set up a throttle cut and the disadvantages to it and the way that I set up throttle cut for thrust differential. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is set up a basic thrust differential mix. So I'm going to go into model and go to mixes. Now take a look over here. So this is a basic model. I just used the uh, model setup wizard to create this and throttle set up on three and five. So channels three and five are throttle. And now we need to create the thrust differential mix. So anywhere in here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the center and add, and I'm gonna do a free mix. Let's put that in the last position. And let's name this one. I'm gonna use the center button over here to delete. And I'm gonna call it thrust diff. Active condition for now, I'm gonna um, leave always on. And source will be the rudder stick. And the output will be my throttle. So channel three for the first one, I'll go up to channel count, add another one. So that's two channels. And on the second channel, we'll make that channel looks like five. All right. So I will warn you not to have your plane on when you're setting this up. You don't want the throttle to inadvertently go up while you're setting all this stuff up. You want to go ahead and set this up first and then turn on your plane after you think that everything is good. Okay, so we got our rudder over here and we've got our two channels. Now, the thing is that we need, so let's go over here and let's take a look at this mix. So if I throttle up, now, what I want is I want one of those throttles to accelerate and the other one to deaccelerate when I hit my rudder stick. So I go rudder and it looks like they're both deaccelerating and both accelerating. So what we want to do is in this thrust differential mix, reverse one side and be arbitrary. It doesn't really matter. Just try one of them. And there it goes. Okay. Later on, when we have the plane powered up, we can actually double check to see if this was the correct way or not. So this is basically it. I throttle up and then I can go ahead and do my thrust differential. The next thing that I want to do is I want to change the amount of throttle when I move the rudder and I do that with weight. So generally speaking, for most planes, a good value to start with, and of, car of course you will adjust this, um, to taste and for what the plane does, but I would say 30% weight is a good amount. And this is the amount of throttle that is applied when you move the rudder. So let's go back and take a look. There it is. Okay, like I said, this was a basic um, plane that I just created. So let's go ahead and set up a throttle cut and I'll show you sort of like the weaknesses of this setup. Let's go to throttle cut and let's go ahead and use say this switch in the down position or which is actually up in the up position will initiate throttle cut so now I have no throttle. So if you take a look this is my throttle mix and there's throttle down but let's go ahead and take a look at the actual output. This is the output after the mixes. So if I throttle up you see that there's no throttle, but take a look. If I do the rudder portion, it does move. The reason why is I activated this throttle cut in the throttle mix. And the thrust differential mix is a different mix. 
So now we have to create a throttle cut for that as well. So again, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it, which is this edit, and it's just more for an example. So active condition, what active condition means is what you use to turn on and off this mix. So always on means you can never turn this mix off. Let's go ahead and add an active condition of that, which is the throttle cut switch, but this is throttle cut activated. This is active condition for the thrust differential. We want it to be, to, to be the opposite. Now, this particular switch is a three position switch. So what I want is I want it to be active when I'm in a middle position or the down position. So what I want to do is I want to choose SG up and invert it. Now, if you take a look at that, it highlights, see that, when I'm in the middle position or the down position. So that's how you do that. Okay, so we created a, um, essentially a throttle cut also on here, but this is what's bad about it. So I'm going to initiate throttle cut. Great, and it works. If I go over here, throttle up, it does not move. And when I do this, it also doesn't move. The main problem with this is now I'm going to go throttle active. So now throttle is active and this works and it works over here. The main problem is this throttle is down. If I bump that rudder, it'll move. So that just accelerated that particular motor and deaccelerated that one. See that? So what I want to do is have also um, something to, number one, turn off and on the thrust differential mix, which I want to use with this switch, which I have not set up yet. But I also want to have it so that the throttle has to be engaged, throttle cut has to be off, this has to be in the up position, and also the throttle has to be a couple of clicks up before it engages. I don't want the throttle down and it engage. So let's go ahead and set that up. The way I do that is with logical switches. So, so let's go to logical switches, create a logical switch, so I'll press the plus button. Let's name this one throttle switch. And the function that I want is A is greater than X. So source A would be throttle. X is what it has to be greater than. So I'm going to go to throttle down and just bring it up to say 90 or 85%. Let's go 90. So now if you look at the, the, the red LS1 over there, I have to be up until there before this switch engages. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create an AND switch. So let's add another switch. So add, and this is a logical switch too. And let's call this one T diff trigger. So thrust differential trigger. So this is the what I'm going to use to activate the thrust differential mix. The function that I want is AND, A-N-D. The first value will be that logic switch. So I'm going to go over here to logic switch, and I want the throttle switch. So the throttle has to be up a certain amount before this switch engages, plus this switch over here will be the, um, the throttle cut. So this is throttle cut engaged, and since this particular one's a three position switch, I want it to be in, um, uh, when the switch is in the middle position or the down position. So right now it's in the up position. I press and hold, invert it. So it, what that means is not up position, so the middle position or the down position. So notice right now it is not highlighted, and then in this position it's highlighted, and this position is highlighted. Okay, the next thing that I want is the actual switch that I use to um, turn on and off thrust differential. Now, if you don't, if you want thrust differential on all the time, then you don't, you don't have to add this. I like to be able to turn it on and off. So I want to choose this switch. And same thing, this is a three position switch. 
I want the up position to be um, thrust differential um, off, and then this one and this one to be thrust differential on. So I choose the off position, and then I invert it. So now it'll be both. So the point of this is all three conditions have to be met. That's why it's an and. This has to be, throttle has to be up a certain amount. The throttle cut has to be disengaged. And this switch has to be um, middle or down, which is uh, enabling the thrust differential. So if you look, the red light's on. I gotta be in that position. I gotta be in that position. And throttle has to be above a certain point. All right, so I created this, the, the thrust differential trigger. And I'm going to go over here to the mixes, go to the thrust differential mix, edit, and the active condition, I go to category, should be that logic switch. T diff trigger. There it is. All right, so now let's take, this, take a look at this. On my outputs over there, Throttle cut, engaged. No throttle, no throttle that way. And over here, thrust differential, or I'm sorry, throttle cut, disengaged. So now I have active throttle, there it is. And so I'm gonna put this up first of all, no thrust differential, but I can flip this switch over and this will engage thrust differential, now it works. But if I go below a certain point, it turns off. So now it will not engage. So this is nice if you're uh, uh, carrying your plane up to the flight line and you bump the throttle. It's just, it's not going to, you know, go on until you go throttle up. So this is the way I like to set up my thrust differential. So I have a couple of different safety systems. Okay. So again, I can throttle cut and it will no longer, like the throttle will go down and even the rudder won't work. And I have to be thrust differential on. Now, obviously I would go ahead and add a special function to this that says thrust differential on and off over there. Um, but um, I think you guys know how to do that, so I'm not gonna do that in this particular video. Obviously the next thing that you need to do now, now that you have this set up, is make sure that when throttle cut is off, and thrust differential is activated, that when you do this, the, the correct motor spins. And so I would just, you know, turn on your plane and hold the plane, make sure everything is safe and uh, thrust up and move it over and see if it's going the right direction. If not, then you just go over here and turn the reverse off on this one and turn the reverse on on that one. Just make these, swap these and you should be good. All right, that's it for the thrust differential mix. It's actually very simple. The only thing that was a little bit more complex was adding some logical switches to make it a little bit safer. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment in this video or send me an email at jose, J-O-S-E, at freesky-rc.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.